Florida beaches are like none other, and we get thousands of visitors every year. Seashells adorn our beaches, and I happen to know a thing or two about seashells. I have a beach combing YouTube channel, so I have picked up thousands of seashells from our beaches, and I would like to pass along some really important information so that you can enjoy the beach like a local. Seashells don't come from the seashell factory. Each seashell is created by an animal called a mollusk, and these animals build their shells and continue to get larger and make bigger shells as they get older. Now, most seashells you find on the beach are empty and perfectly safe to collect, but you should check each seashell you pick up. If you find a shell that's empty, you have yourself a keeper. Take that shell home and enjoy it. And if you're curious about what kind of shell you found, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I do spend the majority of the time in my videos identifying the shells I pick up. Now, there are times when the seashell is not empty, and this means that the mollusk that is creating the shell is alive. How lucky that you get to see and experience this. So if you happen to meet one of these critters, say hi, take a couple pictures, but please leave the shell and the critter at the beach. Let's take a look at an example of an empty seashell and then compare it to the living animal. This is a lightning whelk seashell. These shells are beautiful and very special because they are one of the two species that will get rather large down here in Florida. It took me three years to find this big empty shell. So if you do find a big shell and there's an animal in it, don't feel bad. It happens to us locals too. Just leave that animal at the beach. Now let's take a look at some shells that are not keepers. Now this here is a live lightning whelk hanging out at low tide. This creature is alive and well and will sit here on the beach until the tide comes back in. As much as you may be tempted to take this animal, you will kill it and the chance for it to create new baby snails. So always leave the live critters at the beach. And just to give you another look into this amazing animal's life, look at this guy cruising along underwater. So this is another look at a live lightning whelk. And here is a live crown conch, another squishy animal that if found alive, should stay at the beach. While you are on our beaches, if you find a shell with a critter still in there, act like a local and put it gently in the water. These remarkable animals are not rocks or baseballs, so please do not throw them. Place them back in the water. To recap, anything with a critter in it, be it the animal or a hermit crab, yes, we have lots of hermit crabs too. So if your shell has either the critter or the hermit crab in it, it's not keepable. You could face a fine and you will definitely be a murderer. Don't be a murderer. We have tons of empty seashells, so there is no reason for you to go home empty handed. Just please don't kill something for it. There are other critters that make seashells, such as clams, scallops, and oysters. These fascinating creatures are characterized by their two-part hinged shells, which they use for protection and mobility. These critters are easy to identify, as there will be a top and a bottom of the animal's shell. If you happen upon one of these critters, it should stay at the beach. But if you find a single shell, or hinged shells that are empty, those are keepers and by all means take those home. Sea stars, also known as starfish, can survive out of the water for varying amounts of time depending on factors such as species, environmental conditions, and individual health. Typically, the smaller species of sea stars can survive for a few hours out of the water, while the larger ones can survive up to a couple of days. Now, it's hard to tell if these creatures are alive or dead sometimes. So if you're unsure, please just leave it at the beach. One last critter you may encounter at the beach are sand dollars. When they are alive, they are dark and they're covered in hairs called cilia. If you find a sand dollar that is smooth and doesn't have any of these hairs, 
you have yourself a keeper. But if you find one that is not completely smooth or has any moving hairs, that's a living animal and that should stay at the beach. So if you don't know, or you're not sure if an animal is alive, please just leave the creature at the beach. I have plenty of seashells for sale on my Etsy store that were all ethically collected, so I would be happy to part with some of my treasures so that you can have some too. So enjoy our beaches like a local and take care of our little mollusk friends.